Good morning, all y'all modern steaders. When you look at your weather app in the morning and it says it's not gonna rain till 11 o'clock and you go outside and it's raining already, what's up with these weathermen? Good morning, girls, chickens. If you piggies don't come out, the chickens are gonna get your food first. They're like, yeah, we know it's raining out. You're always going to have one pig that's more dominant than the other pig and is more aggressive towards eating. But when you're raising pigs, you want that. If you didn't have that, the pigs wouldn't eat as much. It kind of gets each other eating more. It's odd, but it works best. The reason I was checking the weather this morning is I knew it's supposed to rain today, but I was hoping we'll have time in the morning at some point to set up our new poultry netting that Premier One sent us for New York City. I want to get that set up and get these girls out and get them happier. be enough to keep them from knocking it over. I want to get the turkey out with the chickens as soon as we get them out on pasture too. I think he would enjoy having some company. Look what I see. Mr. Figaro's new thing is to be on top of the cars. Gina's not gonna like that you're on her car. All right, let's go get milking. He's coming for you. You coming? I don't think you girls are gonna wanna come out. You gonna venture out for a little bit? It's kind of funny, our goats never really cared for the alfalfa pellets. And now, they're actually liking the alfalfa pellets a little bit better than the chaff hay. I think we're gonna end up having to find another milking dairy goat because we only have one dairy goat to milk and we both enjoy milking. It's not working out. What's the matter? You ready to come back to the house? Come on. Now you're coming in. We had some viewers asking us the other day if they make an energizer that's both solar and you can plug in. And the IntelliShock 60 from Premier One, you can. And you open it up inside. Right here you got your 110 plug-in. Let me show you closely. You can unplug your solar charger and plug in your 110 plug. 
I wanted to make sure my battery was charged up before the first time we used it. They show you right here what you need to do. The box got a little rained on, but... Me and Olivia can get this set up at in New in New York City before it rains out again. If you guys want to go check out Premier One and see all the products that they have, I'll put a link in the description down below. You gotta help figure out. I really like the ground setup on this charger. You just slide it in. Then we can hook up our wires and we're good to go. Just clip onto the That's gonna clip fence. the black one, nope. The black black is ground. So the black one is gonna actually, hold clip on, hold to on. the black wire. Nope. Let me hold on. Let me get this in the right way first. Okay. Okay, so the black is ground, and the our, what we're using for a ground is this facing this way to get the sun. The ground rod is right here. Let me get a good spot without rocks. Nope, more rocks. Okay, there we go. And. So you want to clip that to the bottom there. This metal thing? Yep, to the metal thing. All right, go ahead, unroll that one. The wire should be on the inside somewhere. Yep. All right, let's hook this up here first. Now your end's gonna clip right to one of those. You wanna turn it on, we'll test it. Yeah, did you have the tester? I got the tester right here. So the light should turn green on the dot on that. Yep, yep. it's blinking green. And we got 4,000 kilowatts. Awesome. Wait, I'm check the bottom. 4,000. We're dealing with wet grass today and we gotta get the corners up. Look at this foolish cat. What are you doing, mister? Huh? What are you doing? Being a fool? You're silly.
Hear that rock? Yeah. Man, everywhere we go to put one, we get hit rocks, Livy's. Boom. So here, put this in the ground first. Yep, right there. Starting to rain. Let me here, let me just give it. There you go. Perfect. And that helps straighten it all out. All right, we'll get the turkey in here and then we'll get the ch let the chickens out. Okay. Coming out ahead. I know you probably don't like the drone noise, huh? As soon as we landed the drone, the chickens came out. They didn't like all the noise. Figaro, you ain't gonna like that fence. Touch it so he doesn't get me turkey again. The turkey's not gonna like that fence either. No, they're not. None of them are gonna like the fence. It's on. He'd have to hit it on his nose probably to really feel it good. Yeah. There are the chickens. <laughs> he felt it. Did he touch the fence? <laughs> yeah. Man, I missed it. You saw it. He's like, I'm out of here. I'm going home. I'm going over there. <sighs> well, we know it works now. <laughs> yep. And he was like right over here. Let's see what that's on. Just in time for the rain. I guess we'll do the goat's pen tomorrow. Maybe. If it's not raining. Heavy. It is heavy. You... How's your nose feeling, mister? We have some more family coming up this weekend to celebrate Olivia's birthday with us. We're going to be going on a fun trip on Monday's video. So I want to make some blueberry muffins so we have breakfast ready while everybody's here. Kind of neat, it was one of our new pullet eggs and it's a double yoker. And we get to use some of our goat's milk. We picked and then some small ones from Maine.
hopefully we'll get some cucumbers soon. Oh, we're getting some small ones going. Right, there's one. Another one over here. Nice. Ooh, these are ready, I believe. I'm thinking we gotta have one. Let's pick the biggest one. That looks good. Oh my goodness, what happened there? Look at that thing, it's huge. That's a monster. Oh, wait. That's a good size one right here. Boom. And then Gina said she wanted a little one. So this will be a little one for her. She can eat that like a cucumber. That's a good size for boiling. They get that one tomorrow. I'm not seeing any summer squash that are ready yet. Nope, not yet. Some of the tomatoes are getting ready to turn and the beets are getting nice and big. Carrots seem to be doing well. have to pick some green beans and then we do have potatoes this year we had some people asking us about potatoes and we do have some we're getting potato bugs on them right there so what I like to do is when I find one squish it ew ew gross Holy moly, they're going nuts. Look at them all. Them buggers. All right, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know the best way to counteract those guys. What do I want to use organically to treat these? There's so many of these guys right now, it's not even funny. Holy moly. Well, at least maybe we can get some chicken feed out of them. There you go. <laughs> Eat the bugs. <laughs> oh. I don't know if taking off leaves and tops of the plants helping or not, but at least it's getting rid of the bugs. There's so many of them. Quick look over, that's all I'm seeing. Those are the ones I smushed. Yep, that's right, it's raining again. Oh man, I wish you guys had smell of vision These things just smell so good. You don't know what you're missing out on. I'm curious to see if the chickens let the turkey into New York City. Let's go find out. Nope, the chickens are even out still. I don't know if that's a loose one, or if that's one that's been out for a while now. Mm. 
You girls like the rain? Huh? Still working. Wanna try the first cucumber out of the garden? Yeah. Should we peel it? Yeah. Mom's not home, she's missing out. But she's out on a girl's night, so I guess it's fair, right? Yeah. First cucumber on uh, hopefully many. Make some pickles out of them. Well, this is where we're gonna end today's video. I guess Olivia's gonna eat the last piece of cucumber. Mm -hmm. Wanna arm wrestle for it? No. No? You wanna thumb wrestle? No. No? Alright, I'll let you have it. Okay. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have some more. Yeah. So thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us as we build our farm life, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>